Uh, hey there, Russ here. Welcome back to the shop. Okay, I just wanted to show you the what a pigtail for a terminal block connector, the PB, PCB terminal block. On all these little uh, printed circuit boards, when you want to hook wires up to them, you see a lot of them have this little blue terminal block. Usually two wire, but it could be multiple. But the two wire is the most common. Two in and two out. So you usually have two. If you have one, you almost always will have a second one on most modules. And connecting and disconnecting to this, especially during the test process, if you get something like this buck converter, you're going to run it through a, a bank of tests to make sure everything is working fine before you put it on a permanent project. Well, connecting and disconnecting to these terminals is really doesn't take long before they really deteriorate in the quality of holding in that wire. And it's not always a very good connection. You always have the hazard of the wire strand sticking out or breaking off because it's very weak. It's only hanging in by the copper strands themselves. So you can tin it and that will help, but they still can be kind of weak. So what I've done is i developed a pigtail here and I show you how to make this in, the, in another video. I have a link to it in this one. Uh, but what this does is I can just take these and pre-bake them. And then when I get a module in, I can throw a couple of pigtails on it and leave them on there until I find, after running the test and everything, I can even leave it on there then. And when I'm ready to put it in permanently, I can either take them off and throw them back into my drawer with the other leads or I can just leave them on there. It doesn't matter. But I've only taken and put something into these terminals a couple of times then rather than taking things in and out constantly to go through the test that you may put it through. So these terminals are very handy to make and, and to have around. And they're very durable. Once you put them on there, if you really want this thing to be strong, take and put some glue, hot glue around that once you put it on. And that thing would be rock solid connection all the time. And then do all your connection out here. You can either use alligator clips. Again, I used wire ferrules out here as well as up here on this end. So by having these on there, if I want, I can either hook alligator clips to this as I'm testing it or, or solder to that if I want to make a permanent connection. Or you can even use something like this. These things are perfect. So if I take this one, and I use the orange for the red and the blue for the black, and you just put them in there, and let me get them started. They're a little tricky, but once you get them in, there you go. Whoops, didn't want to lock that down yet. And then you push them up in there until they're in there all the way, like so. Lock it down, and now I can hook wires to this, stranded wire to this, easily, rather than taking and putting them in and out of here all the time. So, as long as you treat it gently, these things will hold up pretty well. Uh, I see no problem with this at all. And like I said, when I'm done, I can either leave them on there or throw them in the, thing, in the drawer for the next module I get. They're great. They're easy to make. They cost me only a couple of pennies. And I made these up in less than five minutes. So... Uh, if you want to know how to do that, check out the other video, and I think it'll be worth your while, and you'll find yourself making a few of these to keep around your shop. It is a great answer to extending the life of those little block terminals for putting wires on and off all the time. So, give it a try. If you have any questions, any comments, any thoughts, or how you would do it, just leave them below. I love to hear all your ideas. And yes, there are other ways to do it, but this was quick and easy, and I can make them quick and easy from things I have right here. But making your own terminals is really worthwhile. So anyway, leave your comments. I do read them all. If you learned something here, you like this video, hit that like button. Let's me know I did the right thing. Most importantly, though, please come back again because I'm nowhere near done. Thanks, and we'll see you guys again soon.